team confidence, how would you uh, describe it right now? The uh, thing is, when we're, when we're playing good, we're good. But when we're playing not so good, we're terrible. And, and uh, we have to, uh, have to, when we're playing bad, we have to be better. We have to be more solid. We have to, we, you won't have uh, everything you want every night, but you have to be able to, uh, to live through those nights and, and, and play through those games. And, and um, we're not doing that right now. Um, we can't let four, we can't let five goals in either. We can't, we're not a team that's going to score six goals or five goals to uh, expect that we're going to win the game. So mm, there's a lot of players that have to be better. Uh, it starts with me. I have to uh, find a way to get more out of uh, my ice time and, and, and produce more, and, and, um, and then uh, hopefully every, everyone else will follow along. This is the second time this season that you've had a six-game winless streak. Do you take some sort of solace that you were able to turn it around before that you know that eventually your game the game's going to come together again? Well, obviously we uh, we did come back after that and played some good hockey. Uh, but even though uh, when we come back here and play better, uh, we can't just play good for a, for a stretch and then lose another six. Uh, we have to, to we have to be more solid and 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 those nights when we're not top four game we have to um, be able to live through those games. What needs to be better? Just gotta you know individually everyone's gotta you know look at themselves in the mirror and, and be better, uh, win more battles. Um, you know we have we have the lead going into the second period and um, you know self destruct a bit, turn turn some pucks over and. You know, against a team team like Montreal, you know, it's, they live off turnover, especially in the neutral zone. So, got to take care of the puck. And, um, you know, we, it seems like, you know, a few of these games here, we've, whether it's a two or three minute span, they get a couple. And, you know, once they go up a couple of goals, it, it makes it really tough in this league. So, we got to do a better job of, you know, managing the puck. And, you know, each, each, each guy in here just win their battles and, you know, we got to do this together. Can't do it uh, one guy, two guy, three guys. We have to do it as a 20-man unit on nice. When you look back at your six-game winning streak in October, what helped turn it around, and what can help turn it around this time? We just just got to start with you know getting getting in the win column. You know, I, I think you see a team like Montreal here now. I think they've won four straight, and uh, you know you, you start uh, getting confidence as as individual players and uh, confidence you know as a team out there, and um, you know we just. Just got to find a way to, you know, we're going back on the road, so you know, keep our game simple and um, play the way that uh, we need to play to be successful and start stringing together some wins here because uh, you know you don't want to fall too far back here. How tough or emotional are, are nights like this for you when you're on a high scoring against your team you love to play against, and then you have an outcome like this in the end? Oh, it's terrible. I mean, obviously, if we would win without scoring, uh, that would be even better. But um, we got. Another game coming up against them, and uh, we need to be ready. Well, I mean, I, I think in the first period, uh, we showed everyone uh, how we could play. I mean, we had three or four two-on-ones in that first period. I mean, if those go in, it's a different game. But like I said, we need to show up in the second and third. You know, you have demonstration after demonstration of how well you can play, and then self-destruct. Yeah, you can't. You just, you know, the self-destruction is... is uh, uh, again, you have no chance to win when you, when you give away easy goals. So we better get it figured out in a hurry. How disappointing, very disappointing, because you, 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 you just crush yourself when you come out. You have a good effort. Uh, if, you, if you come out and you, and you repeat that in the second and then repeat it in the third, you don't give them anything easy. I didn't think they were, they were earning much there. You know, they obviously played last night, and, uh, and then you just give them life and energy. It's crazy. Well, 100%, it's a critical part of the season, 100%. We better start winning games. Uh, but that just comes with uh, making sure that you're playing the right kind of hockey. So we can, we, I've said this a lot, you can play really good hockey and not win. We've done that. And, uh, I think teams around the league do that. I, I listen to coaches uh, in interviews talk about it. Um, you can't shoot yourself in the foot. 100%. And so we better get that solved in a hurry, and we better go find a way to win a hockey game and, uh, or at least play great hockey in Montreal. I think, I think very rare does anybody play 
at 100% optimal all the time. Uh, in fact, no, nobody does. Um, I think teams that are, that are blessed with some ultra, ultra elite players uh, can get away with it sometimes just by simply outskilling teams. Uh, not much in the league, but some. If we want to be different, then we've got to be special. So we better be way better about our number of efforts that aren't at 100% maximum.